Welcome back, East Texas. We're joined now by Luann with the Alzheimer's Alliance. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Absolutely. So today we're talking about aging. Mm -hmm. So what's the right and wrong way? So can you tell me kind of a little bit what's normal aging? So a lot of people think that normal aging as you get older that dementia is part of normal aging and, um, and it's not. And I'm doing a workshop on Friday to talk about the difference between normal and not normal aging. So sometimes we may forget a word or may forget somebody's name, that's normal. But it's when it starts affecting activities of daily living where you get lost in your car or perhaps um, you're having a really hard time remembering what you did the other day, you don't remember appointments, you keep asking the same question over and over again, personality is changing, that is not normal aging and there's something going on. We like to find out what type of dementia it is because dementia is not a diagnosis. But those are symptoms of people losing memory loss, cognitive abilities, um, personality changing and there's about 80 different dementias out there. And so the workshop, I'll be talking about some of the dementias. Um, so Alzheimer's is the most common and then we have vascular dementia, Lewy body dementia, Parkinson's dementia, frontal temporal dementia. So I'm going to be going over um, those type of dementias and then I'm also going to be um, working with a positive approach to care on how to work with people that, um, that have dementia. You kind of have to change the way you react to them. So you mentioned a little bit about the difference um, of Alzheimer's and dementia. So Alzheimer's is just a type of dementia. Yes, it's the most common form is Alzheimer's. So if one of, somebody in your family or uh, your spouse has dementia, how can you help them? Um, refer them to the Alzheimer's Alliance or have your medical doctor um, do a comprehensive lab work on them to make sure it's nothing medical going on because thyroid can cause some cognitive decline, also deficiency in vitamin D3, vitamin B12. So we like to rule out anything medical before we look at um, whether or not it is a form of dementia. A lot of times I feel like people think that, you know, once you start losing your memory, there's no way to get it back. Is that true? Um, there are many dementias that are reversible, okay? So when the elderly get a UTI, a urinary tract infection, um, that can make them have some cognitive decline, but they can get it back again to their base by, you know, getting on antibiotics. Um, you know, like I mentioned too, thyroid, if they get on medication with thyroid, they can get back to where their base is. So there's, um, I'll be talking at the workshop that I'm doing on Friday, those type of dementias that are reversible. All right, so if people aren't familiar with the Alzheimer's lines, what else do you guys do? Um, well, we have two social workers. I'm a social worker. Um, we have, um, what we do as social workers is we work with them throughout the journey of, um, it's a very hard disease to navigate, so we're there for them throughout the whole journey. We also have a licensed professional counselor that um, will help care caregivers and counsel with them. We have a day club for people living with dementia. Um, which you know are activities that are evidence-based that they can enjoy and it gives the caregiver a break. Um, we have the Project Lifesaver which is for wandering. Um, a lot of people that get dementia do get lost. Those silver alerts that you see mm -hmm. um, are people living with dementia who more than likely think they're going home. They get in their car and they get lost. So that we have a relationship with the police department um, and it's called Project Lifesaver and it's a radio transmitter bracelet. So you know, they can track them if they get lost. Awesome work you guys do. One more time, when and where is the workshop this the week? The workshop is on Friday, uh, this Friday from 1030 to 1. Uh, we provide lunch and you can call the Alzheimer's Alliance of Smith County. I believe you've got the phone number on your, on your display there and uh, reserve a seat. All right, thank you so much okay. for being here today, right. Lillian. Thank you so much. All right.